Um, I am not going to let the devil or anyone, I don't care what they say, what they put out, what they, the battle is not mine. And I'm not even going to address or talk about or fall into the traps of the devil because I live by the word. do it and y'all this girl says your craziness i'm coming to you 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 and you with another word in the street segment make sure like come subscribe and share this video so yet yeah, here we are again over and over again okay tamar when will you wake up sweetheart wake up get up out of that daydreaming phase you in don't be weak in the knees stand up stand up this man don't give a damn about you okay junior with the swoop okay now <laughs> Tamar came out and said that JR had been cheating on her, okay, with some little hussy, some tramp, as she called her. And he then came out and said she's delusional. She don't know what she's talking about. I've been single for six months. I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. Didn't you just not too long ago repropose to this lady? Y'all was in y'all Christmas attire. And you gave her this big old rock or the same damn rock. I don't know. But you gave it to her. And you talking about you was, I'm the, am I in the Twilight Zone? <laughs> Child, I cannot with these celebrities. And then, you know, Tay Mama have to do it to you, child. You was getting on Tommy, you know, for getting, I guess, wind and dine by JR with the swoop. And she had to come and correct you like, boo. You don't even know what it was, honey. You don't even know what it was. But remember when you had said this? If y'all thought I was gonna let my man go because he took some well, basketball game. Oh, 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 oh. No man. That was not my man. He don't owe me no loyalty when we broke up. Shit, I could have went out with his homeboy. What's up? <laughs> Is he still a good man, Savannah? Is he still a good man while he out here? You playing messing with a 25-year-old T-R-A-M-P? Is he still a good man? <laughs> but on his side of things, he been single for six months. Which one is it? Who is telling the truth out here in these streets? I uh, but let's get into what Tamar, what popped it off. So Tamar went to her Instagram story, y'all. And she had posted the alleged 25-year-old Instagram page. And in the caption, she wrote, paid, I think she meant played, in my face for a 25-year-old. Shaking my head to my jury, took me to Turks, and all along had a whole tramp. Hate you. I hate you. And she added him. And as you can see, this is the alleged 25-year-old, okay? Like I said, she did the post and delete. So, Jimmy the Cricket with the swoop, he went on his Instagram and he went live. And under the live, the caption reads, JR, just let it go. Show some grace. Well, sometimes grace requires defending yourself. I've always been accountable for my failures and spoken out about why they impacted me and other people. I'm not going to let a false narrative attack me, my family, and or the foundation I have worked so hard to protect. So here is how I feel about the situation. And yet again, Tamar, this is your... My man, my man, my man, my man. I just don't understand why you let this man keep embarrassing you out here in these streets. But let's listen to what Jiminy Cricket with the swoop had to say, y'all. Roll that footage. You know, I initially was going to take the high road in this situation and not say anything. But the reality is I cannot keep getting attacked. My character can't keep getting attacked. I can't keep being thrown under the bus because someone can't control their anxiety. And someone can't control these delusional thoughts about things that aren't real. I, I am in no way wanting to attack anybody my purpose in in my life has always been to protect i haven't ran the social media every time something happened to me in that relationship because trust me with all the receipts and all the things that have happened i could have but i've chose to do what a real man does and that is protect the person that i've been with 
In this situation, I'll be very clear. I've been single for the last six months. We have been trying to identify what that looks like, closing one chapter and figuring out what it's like to be friends again. I've been very specific about my boundaries. I've been very specific about where we stand as friends. Go date anybody you want. I'm going to date when I'm ready. I am emotionally unavailable to you and I'm physically unavailable to you. Now, birthday comes up, plans are put in place. Of course, I want someone that I consider to be family to be involved in that because if anybody knows her, she is big on birthdays. I don't lead people on. I'm very direct. Listen, if, if anything that you're doing or that you want to do comes with an agenda, I don't want to be involved in it at all. I don't want you to be involved in my birthday plans. I don't want you to come to Turks and Caicos. This is not a reconciliation time. Whatever you decide you're doing, it's because we're friends and because I'm still being involved in my son's life. I still would love for you to have a relationship with my children, but not to the extent that you make up these stories that aren't real. I went to New Orleans. I booked my room at Four Seasons on Booking.com and didn't realize that the card I'm using, which also ends in the same three last numbers, was tied to something that we booked several months ago. No harm, no foul. We're talking $900. Stop it. While I'm in New Orleans for a funeral, my really good 25 plus year friend who passed away, I spent time with his family. I extended my stay because I needed time to reset. So I get a call yesterday. Hey, did you stay at Four Seasons? Yeah, I did. Uh, in fact, I extended. I gave them my card and everything's good. Why? What's up? Oh, well, I got a call about some chick who used my card at Four Seasons. I said, that's not possible. This is funny. Ha ha ha. What, what are you talking about? Well, I thought we can friends. We can talk about it. But this is laughable. I didn't stay with anybody at the Four Seasons. I'm not seeing anybody. Didn't Wasn't on a date. None of that. If I was, you're my friend. What do I have to hide about that? Um, I'll just say cooler heads didn't prevail. And next thing you know, I'm on her story and I'm being accused of things which are just blatantly not true. Um, I have never led Tamar Braxton on. I never will, nor will I. There are people, hate the name drop, but hey, Carlos King, you got me involved in this. You're part of the reason why we became friends. Um, but I've been very clear about my boundaries. I've been very clear about wanting to have a friendship but not to the extent that, yo, friends don't throw each other on on their stories and call each other out on stuff. Like, look, if there was a mix up with the card because of booking.com, yo, that's a quick fix. It's already taken care of. I've already contacted the Four Seasons and they've already issued a refund and they charge my card. It's that simple. Where did this random woman come in that you called a tramp? Somebody I became friends with on Instagram like maybe three days ago. It's just a reach and I'm tired of having to stay quiet and not defend myself. Yo, mental health is real and I understand how sometimes anxiety can get the best of us, but you just don't go on social media and start attacking somebody you say that you love, that you care for as a friend. And, and then you post pictures of you and my daughters together, but then you're throwing their dad under the bus. It's not cool, man. And uh, the unfortunate reality is I thought that I could be friends uh, and try to maintain some type of friendship, but I, I, that relationship is done. And I didn't want to come out and, like six months ago and be like, hey, I'm single again, because then people are like, oh, you're sassy. But this is the reason why I did it last time, because of this assumption that I'm leading somebody on and that I'm cheating. I have never cheated in my life. Find a woman that will tell you I cheated on her. I'm not successful because I cheat. When I'm committed, I'm completely committed. Now, I'm not gonna go there. There's a lot more I could talk about. I'm not gonna do it because this isn't about revenge. This is about saying, hey, wait a minute. This shouldn't have happened. Picking up the phone and talking calmly and saying, hey, Jay, I got charged in my card. You stayed at Four Seasons. Okay, cool. But then you had to find a, a random narrative to go with it. 
it's it's messed up and and the truth is now there's potential defamation behind it because i don't even know this person never met her in my life never even had a dm with her again here i am defending myself because of all of these assumptions and all these internet bullies who don't have a clue not one thing to, they don't know nothing about me 